Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something kind of different again. I'm going to be, if you can't tell from the title, moving to a different binder for my Itzy collection. So I'm going to be setting up my Itzy collection and organising some new cards also into the collection. I basically wanted to do this because I kind of got tired of using a black coloured binder just because I really wanted to use the white sleeves in my collections just to separate uh, the cards out obviously where there was gaps and stuff. So I thought white would definitely look better for this and that's the reason I'm changing over. So I'm splitting the collection into two. I've bought two new white binders. I'm going to be doing an Itzy binder and then an other collections binder which all just have everything else and i'm going to be giving this binder to my friend catherine because her collection is growing quite fast and she definitely is in need of a bigger binder the ultra pro collector album things are really good binders especially if you you don't care about color and stuff um i have had no issues with this binder i just want to change the colors up and also i've ordered some decals from berry bond shop on instagram to go on the front of my white binders they should hopefully be coming soon I've just ordered them last week and yeah I probably will be doing a video on that as well as organizing my other bits into a new binder as well if that makes sense. So yeah today's video is just going to be focused on Itzy. I'm going to be moving my Itzy stuff from here into here and then organizing my It's Me collection out because I've kind of made some progress with that and I didn't really like the layout of the cards so I'm going to be reorganizing that bit. Um, yeah just keep on watching if you want to see me do that. What I'm going to be doing first is I'm going to be putting the old collection into this binder. I really like the organisation that I already have in this binder. So I'm just literally going to be like putting them in as they are. To start with the bigger items at the back. So at the very back we have my Leah event posters which are from the It's Me album event. Then we're going to be going in with the It's Me album postcards. I've nearly finished these. I've ordered the last couple that I need on Macari. And then we have the It's Me pre-order postcards. I do want to change these up and get some three pocket ultra pro sleeves instead of using four pocket ones. But for now, it's kind of gonna do. <laughs> I also am going to be putting my tour postcards in here. I did add this bottom one. Um, I didn't film it because I wanted this to go straight in the binder just so it was safe. It does kind of poke out a bit at the top, but I honestly thought these were way bigger. So I was really happy that it kind of does fit in the four sleeve. Don't know if I'll change this in the future, maybe, but for now I'm kind of happy with it. Then we have the icy postcards. And yes, I have a double set of Leah's. I don't know why, <laughs> I just do. Along with the stickers. I recently added these into my collection as well. I just thought I might as well, because um, they were just sat in a box and they are part of the collection. So I just thought I should probably put them in. And then I have my icy photo cards. I've changed the layout of this. If you did see my previous binder video, it will have changed, but I will explain that as I reorganize the collection. And then finally at the front now, we have my Leah Dulla Dulla broadcast card <laughs> or postcard probably. Okay, so that's everything out of my old binder. Now we can just focus on the new binder. So like I said, I have moved it round a bit. I did used to have the members in age order, but I didn't like how I'd separated Leah's album cards and broadcast cards. I've also been putting the group um, and wave card on this page for now just because it is an icy era kind of special card. All the rest of the members are in age order and as well I'm now putting like all my photo cards together and then all my postcards at the back kind of thing if that makes sense but still by era. Hopefully you'll um, understand what I mean a bit as I go through and organize it. I also took out the black dividers that I had and I'm going to be using these white ones instead. I just got these from eBay for a really cheap price. If you are looking for these they're just the Ultra Pro 50 deck protector sleeves um standard size and obviously i got white i actually can't remember which way i put these i think it's this way hopefully this looks okay oh my god this has been like a long time coming so i'm just going to be doing this for all the empty spaces in this binder and hopefully it will just like brighten my collection up a bit i guess because the black was like it was nice but i didn't love it you know i think the white definitely already looks 10 times better I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this page because I'm still missing one card. I think for now I'm just going to put fillers in where is suitable. I can't really remember what I was trying to do with this page um, because I did reorganise 
these off camera just because I wasn't sure what I was doing. But I think this looks kind of good for now. And obviously I'm still missing a broadcast card for this, which will go in this spot here. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this for every member, which isn't that exciting, but I will just show you every page once it's been done. So that's Regen's page done, Che's page done, and Ina's page done. So altogether, it just looks like this. I think it looks way better now, especially in the 222 layout. I think it just looks really good as well. I think Leah's will look better when I have that other card. And yeah, I'm really happy now with the icy kind of layout and how that's organized. So yeah, next I need to move on to It's Me. So I'm going to put pages in for this. So I've got enough pages here for this and I'm going to be just restarting how I laid this out. So like I said, I wasn't the happiest with how it kind of looked. So I'm kind of doing what I did for the same with Icy, but differently because obviously we have unit cards this era. So I'm going to start with Leah. She now obviously has her own page and it's her album cards. So I finally have finished her collection for this. I'm going to be doing it in order in the middle, just on her solo cards. So here we have the It's version. Then we have the me version. And then my favorite Leah card, the wannabe version. Then for units, I'm going to be putting, obviously it's in age order. And I really like the idea of doing two up here and two down here. So first we have her and Yeji. She actually posted um, these pictures for Yeji's birthday on Instagram. And it's literally the same picture as the photo card, which made me laugh. It's just such a Leah thing to do. Um, and then we obviously have her and Rujin. I really like how the colours match up. So we have the two green here and then it'll be the two blue at the bottom. So we have her and Che. This was my last card I needed for my Leo collection. And luckily I finally have it. I still have that order from Korea of all the It's Me cards that's just like lost. So when they do show up, I will have so many cards for trade and sale on my Instagram, which is kind of funny. Then I'm just going to be putting the two white fillers in the corners. And I honestly love how this looks. Like, I just think this looks so much better than what I was originally doing. And obviously the backs look really nice because there's the two green, the different versions, and then the two blue at the bottom. Then for her broadcasts and, well, not broadcasts, <laughs> for her special cards this era because we didn't get any broadcasts, with these three Polaroids, I'm going to be putting them in the middle. So I'd always forget which version is which, but in one of them she has, the one that I don't have, she has a blue background. So I'd prefer for that one to go in the middle. And then I think I'm just going to do these like so, because I do believe this version is like the version before this one. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they are only like Polaroids, so they kind of all look the same. So that's the plan. And then for her two cards that I don't have yet, but I have on the way, her like, I think it's called Gotcha or Gacha event. I don't really know. She has two photo cards for that, so they're gonna go like either side. So I need to put white fillers in the corners. Honestly, it is a little sad that we didn't actually get like music show broadcast photo cards for this era, but I guess the Polaroids make up for it because she's got music show outfits on in them. Also, she's the only member that wore like different um, outfits in all three, I believe. I think the other members took like two of the same outfit. So it, that's kind of funny. But I'm really glad that Leah did that. Yeah, obviously I have her two on the way and I'm still looking for this card for a good price. So if you do see her other Polaroid anywhere, please let me know on Instagram or here because it's kind of my number one priority right now. Then I wanted to change it because I was doing it in sets, but obviously I did want to separate Leah out. So I can't do the sets anymore. So I thought a nice way to lay it out would be two members together, then another two members together, and then the rest of the units together. So if that makes sense. So obviously this page, it would be an age order. So it would be Yeji and Rujin. So if you just bear with me, you'll kind of see what I'm doing here. We're going to have Yeji's its version. Next to that, we're going to have Yeji's me version. Then we're going to have Yeji's wannabe version. I'm doing like a 222 layout. But then instead of now putting Rujin's It's version, I'm going to do it the other way around, like backwards, if that makes sense. So we're going to have her wannabe version. So the two wannabe versions are together. And then we're going to have her 
me version here so they kind of are opposite each other and then the it's version again just down here so that these two cards are now opposite each other as well i kind of thought this was a clever way to do it and then if you look at the backs as well it kind of looks nice um because they're all like either together or next to each other and i really like that so we're obviously just going to be doing the same for che and yuna but i'm not finished with these um sets yet I believe, well, I thought I was only missing two icy cards, but I can't find a one unit card I seem to be missing. So I will get to that in a second when I'm doing the unit page. But I knew I was missing her me version, and I know I'm missing Yuna's wannabe version. So I'm just waiting for the M-Wave album that I ordered in a group order, but it's kind of being really slow because EMS is just really slow to the UK right now. It's like taking a while so that page obviously can't be finished right now but i'm waiting to get those two photo cards in that group order hopefully along with a leah signed cover page hopefully fingers crossed prayer circle <laughs> and then i think my plan because there's six unit cards without leah's if that makes sense there was 10 all together and i've obviously put four on leah's page i was going to do this in age order but i seem to be missing the yaji che card which for some reason i thought i had and I still, like, believe that I have that card somewhere or have bought it and, like, it hasn't shown up and I've only just realised. So I'm kind of going to have to, like, check that because I don't know what has happened to that card. But for now, obviously, I don't have it. I'm just going to be doing it in age order again. And it'll look really nice because I think the other one that I'm missing is a green. Well, missing <laughs> is a green one. So it'll be green, green, green. And then, obviously, I'm going to be doing blue, blue, blue. And it's in age order. So... Yeah, just put Rujin Che there, Rujin Yuna, Che and Yuna there. And then obviously I just need to put blank fillers again in the gaps. But yeah, I really don't know what has happened to that card. Imagine if I just haven't ordered it and it's like a dream that I had. That's probably something I would do, honestly. So hopefully that is like nice now it looks so good i forgot to put the fillers in on this page i completely just moved on so i will just do that quickly too hopefully you guys all agree that like the white just looks tidier i guess and also doesn't like blend in with the cards i think it makes the cards stand out in a good way that looks so good i also didn't do them for this page i just completely skipped doing the white borders so there we go that's all of the organizing done i guess for now with the it's me cards it just kind of is nice because it all matches now i really like the 222 layout so i'm glad that i've incorporated that mostly for the collection i also have this leah receipt on me from one of the it's me events my friend tammy gave it me on instagram she was so kind to do that she literally didn't have to but i think because it's quite small i will just put it at the beginning of my it's me collection i just need to go grab a page for it so yes i guess it's gonna be kind of lonely on its own on this page but at least it's in my binder for now this is really difficult to do because it's such a slim piece of paper it's literally paper i didn't want to rip it but i think that looks good and i can't actually remember but i swear in the order where all my missing it's me cards are i had these coming I can't remember because I literally have the memory of a goldfish, but if they do ever turn up, then I guess I'll have more, but I'm not really sure right now if that's ever going to happen. The tracking on that package still hasn't moved, which is really sad, but I'm just going to keep remaining hopeful for now and maybe it'll show up. And then at the front of the binder, it kind of has like this pouch here where you can put stuff and i keep all of my envelopes and stuff from it's the pre-order cards or the polaroids that i got from the event i'm thinking this would be a really cute way to maybe incorporate some these are quite thick so i don't know if i'll be able to fit all of them i guess i can try i just don't want them to get damaged because i think they're really cute if they could go in this binder that would be kind of everything they are in like the right order I might not put these ones in just because I really don't want them to get damaged. And I'm aware this idea might be like not great and people will probably like they're going to get bent. But 
I just wanted to try it out. If I notice that they're getting really bent, then I will probably remove them. But for now, I just thought it was like a cute addition, I guess. Yeah, that's basically it for now, I think. I've probably forgotten to put something in, but I'm really happy with how this all looks now. Especially my Leah page is probably obviously my favourite. I really like how, like I said, the colours match up on the back here. I just think it looks really pretty and I can't wait to finish this page too. Okay, so an update. Basically, I filmed an outro and everything, but then we have someone that comes to cut the garden and they had come like right through the outro. So I can't remember like what part of the outro they came in on, but I just wanted to refilm it because it was so annoying with the sound in the background. I just wanted to say thank you so much. If you have watched this video, subscribe and like the video because I will be uploading a lot more frequently now. I also realized I put these um, in the wrong way, <laughs> which didn't really make sense. So in case that was like stressing anyone out, they are now the right way around. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.